things are moving very fast as far as the Amadmi party is concerned. And I thought I'll give you, uh, I'll bring you up to date on what has happened just in this 24 hour window. Kavita Rao has been now arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation, that is the CBI. First it was the ED, now the CBI. So these kind of things will keep happening. Every one of these individuals most likely will come under the scanner of both the Enforcement Directorate as well as the Central Bureau of Investigation. And today I'm going to give you an update on two or three different individuals and this is going to really blow your mind. I have a small slide deck, but before I go into the slide deck, Please like this video because we have put together a lot of information in just a very small sound capsule. I would appreciate it very much if you could just like this video. Thank you very much. Final nail in the political coffin of the Aam Admi Party. Why do we say that? We see three individuals here. One is Kavita Rao. I told you about what happened to her. You know, Arvind Kedriwal is in jail and he's refusing to resign. One doesn't know when he is going to finally. I mean, we told you that he's going to be kicking and screaming. He's not going to go away so easily because everything is within this small parivar. They're controlling all the funds. So, well, then that begs the question, where is the funds? Where are the funds stashed? Well, <laughs> glass house, maybe, who knows? If that happens, we were the first ones to conjecture this, what, three, four days ago in a uh, conversation with uh, Sumit Pirji. So, we'll wait and see how that goes. The third person in this is Amanatullah Khan and we are going to go about explaining each one of their, uh, uh, what are the things that they have been subjected to in the last 24 hours. Now double trouble for BRS leader Kavita after the enforcement directorate, CBI arrest BRS MLC K Kavita in the Delhi liquor scam. Kavita will be produced before Rose Avenue court in Delhi on today. So she was produced today. Kavita was arrested from jail number six of Tihar jail around noon on Thursday. CBI informed the Delhi court on Wednesday that Kavita was examined on 6th April in Tihar jail in connection with the money laundering case related to the alleged excise policy scam. The other interesting thing is many members of the parliament of Ahmad party have been completely staying away from this whole thing. These are people like Swati Maliwal, Harbhajan Singh. I don't know what Harbhajan Singh had to do with this but he was lucky I guess. Of course we know that Raghav Chadha is holed up in London. They are going to do something more. So I'm going to give you all the names of the people who are avoiding. So, Amanatullah Khan, the Enforcement Directorate has sought an arrest warrant for him. In a fresh development, ED has moved the Rose Avenue Court seeking an arrest warrant against AAP MLA Amanatullah Khan in a money laundering case related to alleged irregularities in appointments in the Delhi Waqf Board. According to the ED, it is alleged that AAP MLA Amanatullah Khan acquired huge proceeds of crime in cash through illegal require, uh, recruitment of staff and invested the amount to purchase immovable assets in the name of his aides. Now, there is more stuff here. The ED had initiated the probe following an FIR registered by the CBI under various sections of the Prevention of Corruption Act and the Indian Penal Code. Further, three more FIRs registered by the Delhi Police are under investigation by the ED as the role of Khan and his associates came to light. Amanatullah Khan was arrested last year for alleged irregularities at the Delhi Waqf Board by the government's anti-corruption branch. Special judge posted the matter for 18th April after the ED sought time to file certain documents in support of the application. Um, there's one more thing I want to tell you. Lot of allegations that Amanatullah Khan had actually set up a, a distribution system whereby he systematically went about uh, locating um, or, or uh, seeding uh, Rohingyas in constituencies where the contests were tied. Same formula that we have accused the Congress and the UPA to have done in Jammu is being played out in Delhi. I can tell you guaranteed it is being played out in many close constituencies across India. So this is becoming more and more of a test case that Aam Admi Party has had anti-national designs, has, has had truck with uh, nefarious elements, has also been funded by Ford Foundation. This is for the longest time. I mean, can you believe that Arvind Kejriwal got Raman Maxasi award? For what? Anyway, so these are all things that happened in the past. You should read my book, The Rise and Fall of AAP. Now the fall is spectacularly happening now. Another question that is being asked, what did the personal secretary of Kejriwal do to be sacked? Well, it is like this. This guy, his name is Bibhav Kumar. He was, his appointment itself was illegal, okay? And this came to light even at the time of employment, there was a set of conditions given saying that you need to satisfy this, 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 
before being ad, uh, appointed. But Mr. Kejwal went ahead and appointed him. What was the real problem? In a 2007 case against Bivau for assault and use of criminal force to obstruct a public servant from doing his duty has been cited for termination of his services. The Vigilance Department has said that the employment of a private person is temporary and background check about his pending criminal check was not done. Now, there is one other uh, um, person quitting the Ahmadi party. His name is Rajkumar Anand, Delhi's social welfare minister. Rajkumar Anand resigned from the cabinet and from the AAP, calling it anti dalit The birth of the AAP was by revolting against corruption, but today the party itself is embroiled in corruption. For me to remain a minister and to work for this government is not possible anymore, Anand said in a statement. Anand further alleged that Dalit MLAs, ministers or councillors of the AAP were not given any respect. Here comes the interesting part. Many Rajya Sabha MPs are missing from protests against Kejriwal's arrest. Who are these? These are people like Raghav Chadda, who is holed up in London. Swati Malewal, she is in Delhi. Arbhajan Singh, Ashok Kumar Mittal, Sanjeev Arora, Balbir Singh Sichewal and Vikram Jit Singh Sani. AAP's future is in trouble. Or should we say, AAP's future is in big trouble. Trouble. So, the the thing that we had uh, guessed way back in 2018 that the AAP will fall, it got extended because of the other influences. If it was not for the money that played a role in AAP's uh, victory in Punjab or in Delhi, uh, it, this would have been a gone, a finished case. But you have so many elements and it's not very expensive to foment trouble in India and all of them have been doing something or the other like for example Rohingyas, they come all the way from Myanmar and to settle in some no-name hut. In fact, the Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, everywhere in the deepest areas of the country they have manifested and they have plugged themselves in. How could they have known that these places exist? There is a hand of somebody else. That is, I think, one of the bigger problems that Amanatullah Khan is going to face because it is alleged that he enabled this and this could also be another problem. I think the Aam Admi Party is being made a poster case for all the other regional parties because it is my contention that many of them are guilty of the things that Aam Admi Party has done. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications.